Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers. This one is for Unreal, Unity, and Godot in that order in terms of the amount of content you were getting. Here is one of the assets in said bundle. Uh, here you see it's a Victorian environment. You're getting a ton of stuff here. Everything is completely modular, so if you need to create uh, basically back streets of old town London, uh, you can do so. Again, entirely modular based uh, and the cool thing here is all the Unreal Engine stuff can easily be exported out to work in other game engines so if you're using Unity or Godot think of the Unreal Engine stuff as pretty easy to access so here is another one of the assets this is in Unreal Engine this is a modular train station environment here uh, again uh Everything here can easily be exported to work in other engines. When I say modular, I basically mean, oh, let's go take a look down here and get an idea what else is going on here. So a very complex environment, lots going on here, lots to work with. In fact, you're kind of getting a city as well. It's, it's pretty impressive, the scope of this particular asset, to be honest. Uh, but when I mention modular, what do I mean there? I mean, each one of these little buildings, for example, could be built into like 30 different designs. Uh, and you can check out the overview map to get an idea of what I'm talking about. So here you can see all the different pieces that go together to make it up. So you got the track pieces, you got all the buildings and so on, and then you got the, the signs and the, the floors and the greebles and the roads and so on. Uh, so you can take these out and basically recreate recre different cities, make massive scope things out of these building boxes. Think of it like virtual Lego. And once again, super easy to export each, each individual item out to other engines. So for example, here, train station, uh, you can go ahead and pick something individually. So if you have a mesh you want to export out, you can just grab it this way, export like so, and then pick the file format you want, GLB, FBX, whatever, and you're done. So there are guides down below show you how you can export it out. There's also dedicated plugins so you can export out to the Godot game engine, for example, directly. Speaking of Godot, there are a handful of assets in this particular bundle that are for Godot as well. Uh, this is one of them. This is the stylized floating slum. Uh, so it is, again, a slum environment, a little slum city, again, entirely modular um, for building that kind of environment. And again, when I say modular, I mean it. So you come here, you see assets, uh, and then you come here, you're gonna find various different pieces that go together. So here, for example, uh, you can grab a particular item, pop it into the scene and build. I don't know what that actually was. It's bringing it there. So super simple to bring things in and build from them. And we've also got a number of Unity assets here as well. So here, for example, is the uh, Roman volcanic city environment here. So it, again, uh, completely modular uh, for creating uh, this kind of Roman-esque area like so. I don't know why Unity's lighting is always the worst out of the box, but it is. It's not a slight on Unity. It has just not been configured right. And I don't know where the volcano is in this particular case, but uh, that's what this particular asset is. It is the volcanic environment. And this is another example from this pack. This is the carnival environment. And if you ever wondered if carnivals are for nightmare fuel, carnivals are made entirely out of nightmare fuel. So if you need a carousel or so on, that is kind of what this environment is all about. By the way, these are um, available URP built-in and HDRP pipelines. In terms of how the redemption works, I'll get to all that in just a second, but that's it for the hands-on portion. So that is a couple of the assets running in Unity, a couple of assets running in Unreal Engine, and a couple of running in Godot. All right, let's go take a look at the uh, bundle itself. So this is the gigantic game dev asset and tools mega bundle it's huge uh there's 67 items in this for 30 dollars usd median price tier rarely makes sense you get 13 items there or for one buck you can get the so what you're going to do is buy this one right here so i'm not going to treat this as tiers if you want an individual item you can get it cheaper but it, it, generally the tiering doesn't make sense to buy anything other than the one dollar or the thirty dollar in this particular case so this is the english one we saw in action right there um this is the uh, urban center this is the train station we saw in action so those are the two we saw running inside of unreal engine now you'll notice down below this is the creator of the particular asset this is the engine it works in do keep in mind that uh unreal engine stuff can be exported to other environments again guides are down below uh so anything unreal you can think of it as being available for other engines but you're also going to find some of these are available for unreal and for unity 
And then you got some that are Unreal, Unity, and Godot, which is quite cool. Uh, on top of that, you get these kind of in their native stores. So for the Unity stuff, you get uh, a redemption of assets. You get something like 13 of them on the Unity Asset Store. You get all of the stuff on the Cosmos Store as well. And a lot of them, you can actually get keys for fab. I'll show you that in just a second. So what you're getting here is some tools as well. So here is a... Uh, the scalable interactive system as well here. Uh, then we've got, again, a number of other environments. We got a bunch of animations here, more environments here. Anything here obviously marked as first time on Humble. This is, well, the first time it's been on Humble. So you shouldn't have a lot of duplications. A lot of these creators we haven't seen in the past from the Cosmos or Lortest stuff. So some new creators going on here. Got a bunch more animations here, uh, stylized environment. Again, more environments, a couple more tools here as well. So time management system, an outliner system, a tool plugin. I think all of the plugins this time, though, are for um, the Unreal Game Engine only. So that's one of those things to be aware of. Again, you got some for all of them once again. Uh, and then again, so by far and away, the majority of assets here are Unreal Engine, which in kind of some ways is a good thing because Unreal Engine can be exported out to other environments pretty much one for one. But you can see we got a number of that are Unity and Unreal, and then we got some that are Unity, Unreal, and Godot. So that is today's stuff. So a bunch of static mesh packs at the end. Um, yeah, so there's a lot here, uh, quite a bit there for 30 bucks. And, and again, a lot of these tagged as first time only. So it should not be a lot of duplication from previous, at least from Humble Bundles in the past. They may have fallen into like Epic Games uh, giveaways in the past. Uh, hard to say there. So again, for a bunch of these, you do get keys on the Unity Asset Store. You do a single redemption and you get them added to your Unity account. Uh, otherwise, they're loaded up on the Cosmos Store. You can see right here. So if I want to pick one of these assets, let's say the uh, Victorian Street we just looked at right there. You come in here, you click it. And then you can go ahead and choose your platform. So there, Unreal Engine, and I pick the particular version I want. But you'll notice I can also come down here and redeem the code for FAB. So if I want to have a key on FAB for this Unreal Engine asset, you can do so. And you can get the, the ones for that are Unreal Engine only. You can get keys for them on FAB. Now, I'm not sure that it's for 100% of them, but for most of the ones I checked, if it was Unreal only, you can get a FAB key as well. Then when you get into uh, where it's multiple, such as here, where it's uh, Unreal Unity and Godot, what you do is you come in here and you pick the platform you want. So say I want to get these for Godot. I can come down here and then I pick the version I want, uh, pick the renderer I'm using uh, and then download it accordingly. So I actually think Cosmos Store is pretty slick in how it works. And I like the fact that you can get fab keys. Now I'm curious, can you actually get a fab key for a Godot project or if that's just for the uh, Unreal Engine? I'm assuming that's just for the Unreal Engine. But and then for uh, at least I think it was 13 of the Unity, anything flagged as Unity. Also directly you get uh, product keys for the Unity Asset Store, which is pretty generous, I got to say. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. The gigantic game dev assets and tools mega bundle. By the way, if you use my link, it does help support me. And thank you very much if you do. Let me know what you think of this bundle. Also, if you're interested in getting more stuff from Lurtes, there are a number of bundles going on at Gumroad, linked down below as well. And again, all of the guides for getting stuff out of Unreal Engine and into other game engines is available down below as well. All right, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.